What's up, folks? This is George B. Thomas, and we are bringing Freebie Friday to you. And this is something new and exciting. But hey, here's the deal. It wouldn't be complete if it was just me. We have my co-hostess with the mostest. Well, actually, he's just the hostess with the mostest because <laughs> we're rocking this thing out together. Don Stanley from 3 Rhino Media, and I am George B. Thomas from The Sales Line. And Don, why don't you go ahead and take a minute and explain what in the world Freebie Friday is and why we actually decided we want to do this. So Freebie Friday is essentially we're going to be helping businesses, organizations, nonprofits uh, with their online presence. And what we what we know is that from research, 75% of a website's presentation, how it looks impacts whether or not people believe a site is credible and we know that a lot of sites out there uh, they ain't so good and so what we're on a mission to do with this is we're here to help give free makeovers to businesses and organizations that we think need help or request our help and we're going to be giving tips advice and actionable information that they can take and shake and bake to make their websites powerful business assets yeah, Don, I love how you put that, but let's just call it what it is. The internet, it's a very ugly place. Like there's just some places <laughs> that you land on and it's like, what? What just happened? Like the, the page blew up or something. So, so Don, who, who are we actually looking at today? So this week we're looking at an organization called the Community Resilience Institute. They're a uh, institute based out of lovely Iowa. Uh, and what they do is they help uh, communities and groups deal with uh, challenges such as disasters that happen in areas, um, when groups, when uh, there's things like suicides, that unfortunately, uh, that, that often take place with high school students, etc. And their goal is to, um, we're not sure, that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're yeah. here to help figure out what, what it is and, and help them improve because they're doing some really cool, really important work. Yeah, and so here's the deal. I was going to actually tell you that you cheated, that you must have done some research because <laughs> when I come to this website, I look at it and I'm like, I'm not sure what they do, right? I, I'm not sure what their goal is. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into uh, the homepage assessment, Don. And uh, that's that's where we'll start. So the first question that I'm going to ask you, and, and then I'll go ahead and fly in here too, is when you first come to this website, how does it make you feel? It makes me feel like I have to really work to figure out what the heck they do. And, and that's a problem because you and I both know, and research backs this up, that people don't spend a lot of time trying to figure out what's there. And there's so much junk out there where people talk about how cool they are or how great their organization is that we get turned off or we get we kind of mute out uh, all the fluff language. And unfortunately, I think that this this is a site that uh, has just a lot going on and I can't figure out what it's supposed to be doing and if it can help me or people I know out. Yeah, that, definitely. So many of you out there may have heard the statement, if everything's bold, nothing's bold. And and I'm going to, you know, here, here's the deal. I'm just going to keep it real. If everything's green, nothing's green, right? This whole site is green. And so um, for me, my eyes don't know where they want to go uh, first. And so that leaves me feeling confused, right? Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. So, so Don, here's the deal. I, I, we're going to put you to the test. I know I've already tried it and failed miserably. But in 10 <laughs> seconds, in 10 seconds, I want you to tell me what do they do? Just by looking at the um, website and be able to point, be able to point out on the website where it says, what do they do? Uh, you can empower yourself and your community to save and strengthen youth and get involved. <laughs> and all I'm doing there is just reading from, from the slide there. Um, you know, there, there isn't any content that clearly lets me know. And also, as you point out, because there's so much green, my eye isn't directed to a particular place to go, so I have to figure out what's important. And that's one of the things that's really critical with marketing, period, but also with website design, social media channel design, is you need to create a hierarchy to guide somebody through what's important and what's of value to 
to them. And, and this doesn't do it. that last slide that was just on the screen. I mean, there's a ton of text on that. Yeah. And, you know, trying to trying to read that and figure out before it slips to the next slide. This this one as well. It's just I, I <laughs> unless I'm directed by by a friend or a colleague, I'm not going to look at this. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to even say even when you did your empower yourself and your community to save the strength. So that's what we can do. That's really not what they do for the community, right? So, so that's a big fail on that one. Like immediately we can't tell what they do, what Community Resilience Institute does. We, we can't figure out the problem that, or problems. I imagine in this case, because, you know, this is, and this is not a knock. These are great folks. This is a, a great organization, but they, the problems that they are solving it's not right up front. And so I don't know if I should go here or not, depending on what problem I'm having in my life. Right. So, so that's one kind of fail. So, um, what I want to do next is, uh, we'll do, we'll, we'll do this, Don, we're going to do our biggest fails that we see. Well, actually, first of all, I do want to say one of the questions we're going to ask on these are, we're going to ask about how do we contact them? Right. Yes. And I can already tell you, that you're going to find it as quickly as, as I did. The contact us is in the top right hand corner of their website, which is a best practice. Like that's where everybody goes to look for the contact us. However, it could be better, but, yep. but it's there. So let's talk about Don and I'll let you go first and then I'll jump in. Let's talk about the three biggest problems we see going on here. Well, I think one of the biggest problems is I don't know, uh, you know, we've discussed some of them already. There, there isn't a clear focal point to, for me to go to and to know if you can help me out. And the, the other one that goes along with that is I don't know who they help. So when you're building resilience, does that mean a family? Does that mean, you know, uh, like a boys and girls club? Does that mean schools? Does that mean, you know, I don't know who it is that they are ultimately serving. And that's that's a problem. They, they do have the link that I like that says new here. So it gives some, uh, you know, direction to, uh, you know, at least if I don't know what's going on, it's a place to start. But that's not that easy to see with everything else going on on the screen. And it really says, you know, it shares the research and best practices to help your community thrive. Again, I don't know what that means. And so, so I think that's a huge issue. Is, um, you know, one of the one of the three big issues is that uh, I need to figure out what it is that you do. Secondly, and I have trouble with that. Secondly, I don't know who it is you're helping. And third, you know, if, if I'm coming here uh, to, to do some task, I can't tell what the tasks are from an audience perspective that, that they're helping me solve. Yeah. What about you? What is it that you're, that you're noting? Yeah. And so I'm going to take this in probably three different directions. The first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, kind of the way something makes me feel on the page. And that's the donate now, right? So I understand that you need donations as an organization, but this is your home page. This is potentially most likely the first time that I'm ever getting to know you. And so I don't know if I want to talk about donate now, right? But what would be nice is if it was a smart call to action and it realized that I had never been on the site and I had never engaged with them. And it just said, learn more about uh, community resilience. And it took me through a path where I actually learned about who they um, solve problems for, the things that they fix, and maybe why they need donations to reach some type of budget. Because then I'm educated, and instead of feeling, uh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I want to be part of the cause. So that's one of the things. I think that that's maybe not the best button for there. Uh, the second thing I see is this video, right? And I get all excited because I love video on websites. But I click on it, um, and Don, I'm saddened because when I click on it, it doesn't play, but it actually takes me to another page. And so now I'm not even where I want it to be, right? I'm at this other page. And here's a deal that's really frustrating is I see this thumbnail. I want to know about resiliency. This, yes. isn't, this isn't the same video. So it's like, oh, my gosh, what just happened? And now I'm disconnected, right? I'm, I'm again, I'm confused, and I'm maybe a little frustrated. So that's the second thing. I think this video should just play right here. 
Um, Absolutely. Third, last but not least, <sighs> the slider. <laughs> death, 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 death to the slider, I say. Here's the deal, folks. There's too much information in these sliders. Each one of these sliders are an image, which means it can't be indexed by Google. So um, it's going fast, which it's, it's not that fast, but like for this one, I can read it. But for what I'll say about 60% of this, these slides, there's so much content, I can't even read it. So it's just, it's another thing that is pulling away from what is needed here. And that's focal points and being able to concentrate on what matters most is the people that they're solving uh, problems for in, in real life yeah. situations. So, so Don, those are the things that we both think that are kind of maybe the, the big problems that they could look at. What do you think uh, some heroes are on, on this page? Well, I think I think one of the heroes, potentially a hero, could be that video if it played in line. Uh, as you pointed out, you know, video is especially this year. I think is really going to continue to explode. A lot of people have predicted it's going to be a big part of of marketing. You know, easier to watch videos with people having internet ac or high speed access all over and watching it on mobile devices, those types of things. But that video uh, should tell the story of who they are and why they matter. Um, so I think that that's a potential um, for what could be a, a hero. So it's kind of there, but not quite there. Um, and I think that new here again, it's not a not a the Superman hero. It's kind of like this hero in the making, so to speak. Uh, could be really really powerful if they if they help that stand uh, stand out. So kind of like you know new here. Uh, had some type of um, indication that you know if you know something just happened, start here. Or I, I'm not sure of the best way uh, to to explain it because there's a number of different options that you could take. But I think that that is a hero, and um, that's you know to be to be honest, those are really kind of the two that I that I got off. I don't see a whole lot of other heroes on this page. Yeah, so I've got a couple here. Uh, one, this little word resources, I think could be a, a hero because um, I imagine this as a resource center or an education center, right? And so this could be a place where I could easily click into and maybe it's, um, uh, you know, uh, all the um, ebooks that I might be able to read to solve the problems or all the pamphlets that I could download digitally or it might be blog articles that they've written. So I think resources or a resource center could be a potential hero in this scenario. For me, I actually think this new here get educated and make a difference. Uh, it's it's semi hero, like it's Robin already, but it could be Batman, <laughs> right? It could be Batman. Imagine if you will, if it was right under the main menu and it was three nicely designed sections of new here, get educated and make a difference with a nice call to action button under each graphic where when you clicked on, not not all of this stuff, right? I don't need all of this. All of this should be on the next page because here's the deal. The home page, its sole purpose, Don, is to get people to the next page. So if it's exactly. new here and it's a button, then these three things live on that page. Man, na 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 Batman. Like, it's, <laughs> it's a hero, dude. Like, it's just a hero. The other thing, the third thing that I, I see on this page that I'm, well, and I'm going to just, I okay, I figured out a way that I can say both of them. I like the very tippy top uh, bar up here. Everything from the social media to the take action and contact us. I think it's a hero, um, but I think it has a little bit of kryptonite going on as well. I, I want to dive into those social media platforms. I think we should talk about those and maybe get some tips and tricks on this one. But the contact us, I would have the contact us link that goes to a contact us page, but I would also add the phone number. So if, mm -hmm. if somebody has some like serious help, like they need something now, yes. folks, folks can easily contact them via the phone. So, so those are my three heroes, the top bar, uh, the three sections that could go from Robin to Batman, um, and the resource center that they could potentially have on this site. Absolutely. And I, and I think you point out uh, to, to riff a little bit more on what you just said. You know, there's a chance that people are going to be coming to this and they're going to be in a real tough spot and they're going to want help. And, you know, instead of just new here, like 
you know, having something that says get help now or find out how to get help now when people don't know what's going on. Uh, for example, I know one of the one of the common tr common things that uh, an organization like this will deal with is unfortunately when kids who are teenagers commit suicide, a lot of times there's copycats. And so like a kid in the high school or junior high commits suicide, how do you prevent that from escalating? And how do you help kids know that there's help available, but also the parents and the teachers and the other community members? And that's a crisis time. So, you know, having this option to, you know, dial 911 if you need help, so to speak, you know, not necessarily to that, that, to that level, but having some type of help, I think, would be would be another way to make that into a Batman. You know, Don, when you tell me that story, my heart goes out to that I know without a doubt that the donate now should be a need help now button, right? Mm -hmm. Because the point of this site, I mean, you need money to, to run. I get that. But the point of this site is about the people. It's it's not about the money, right? And so mm -hmm. I think need help now uh, definitely should should be at the top of this website somehow, some way. So let's go ahead and Don, let's shift gears. This is the home page. We've given them a lot of good right. things they're doing. We've given them some things they can fix. Let's go ahead and jump into their social. I'm going to open their Twitter. I'm going to open their Facebook and I'm going to open their YouTube. Hold on, brother. This could get crazy. Right. I, I don't know what we're going to find, <laughs> right? Who knows? I don't either. <laughs> so so the, the first thing that's interesting is it's got a question mark on their Twitter thing here. So I don't know if I've ever seen that before, but uh, let's 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 see. Uh oh, maybe it's the Joker. Yeah. So oh, no. here, here's the deal. It, this page doesn't exist, so that's not good. We've got a we've got a Twitter deal here. We click on it because we need to get direct communication immediately because that's what Twitter is. And um, yeah, sorry, this page doesn't exist. So and, and, and that's a, that's a big deal. Sorry to jump in on you, but that's a big deal because. You know, if you're not there, people are going to assume you don't care, and and you know, just get rid of that Twitter button. Don't don't have it if you can't have a presence because of resources or time or whatever it is. Uh, just get rid of it. But when people have an expectation that hey, you're offering something, you go and then it's not there, you're not delivering, that 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 impacts their perception of you, kind of how they view you as an organization, and all those little things. If I'm looking at donating down the road or something like that, add up. I started thinking, well, if I donate to this organization, they're not even maintaining their communication channels. How is my money going to be used? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, and here's the other thing I'll put onto that. Maybe they do have an account, Don, but they may have decided to change their Twitter name, and unfortunately, nobody went back to the website to figure out if they needed to do any testing to see if it broke anything. And so maybe they don't know this link uh, is broke, and now when they watch this Freebie Friday, they'll be like, Hey, let's fix our link because we are uh, the community that cares. So let's go ahead and dive into Facebook. Ah, okay, this is nice. This is nice. Uh, so we act, we do have a Facebook. That's a good thing. Yes. Um, so I'm going to take this one first, and then I'll let you dive in uh, after that. Uh, the gotcha. thing that the thing that I like is there there is some consistency, right? So I'm I'm used to the tree. I'm used to this green texture. I'm used to this font style on the website. When I come over here, I see the tree. It's used differently in design. But the font is a little bit different, but the colors are the same, so I'm still enjoying that. And again, they're, they're bringing it here. Now here's the deal, what's funny, Don, is immediately I know that they do counseling and mental health. I know that they do educational research and community organization. So I actually know more in the first 10 seconds of being on their Facebook page than I did from their home page. So, that, so that to me is awesome. That's a hero. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to like them. That's how much I'm impressed <laughs> by that. So um, other than that, let's look at um, when's the last time they posted, Don? 17 hours ago. So they're yes. engaged, right? Oh, Don Stanley likes this page too. I did. So I look at, I, I look at you that. too. <laughs> see, see, they pulled us both in. So, so what else do you think about their Facebook presence, Don? Well, I think I, I think you hit a big nail on the head. Is that you know, first of all, they do have that a much clearer sense of who they are from a you know what is it that we offer. Um, and as you look at their at their Facebook page, if you could uh, scroll down on the on the page. 
what you see is that they are putting content up, but what they're um, not doing a whole lot of uh, is is um, you know connecting and sharing with specific people in mind. So one of the things I'll often talk to businesses about is, and organizations about is when you're putting together content on social media and you're mentioning people, mentioning partners, mentioning potential partners, potential organizations is to is to make sure to mention those folks uh, and and give some context too to the posts that you're putting up. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's one of the things a lot of people will miss on when they're when they're putting content onto Facebook. Yeah, you know, and, and you bring up a valid point. I definitely think you can you tag those folks, you bring them into the conversation. Um, but even more than that, it's funny, people pay attention to using keywords when they're writing blog articles or producing copy for their homepage. But when you go to write a Facebook post, you just kind of write it like all willy nilly and you don't even try to use keyword research, which I don't, I don't understand because, uh, Don, there's a search bar right there, which means <laughs> it, it, it needs keywords to find things. So if you actually use keywords in your posts, um, you know, then you're going to extend what you're trying to do. Again, it's about broadcasting. Um, it is about building a community and it is really about being able to be found. And so you got to leverage those ways to be found. So, and, oh, and I oh. think that's the, that's the other thing too, with, with what you're saying is giving a, you know, a little bit of narrative with the keywords is you also, I think they can do a better job of, uh, they have good content that they're sharing, but giving context to that content. Yep. So explaining, you know, a lot of times our families, you know, deal with grief and it's a tough issue. Here's a great article, the, you know, for yourself or to share with people who you know who might be struggling. You know, something that sh that puts in a lot of the you statements as as though they're talking to the people that they serve, and and again helping them have that context, giving providing that context for them, and being seen as this th thought leader, this resource, this place to turn to, uh, to to get information, kind of a clearinghouse, so to speak. Yep, definitely. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to jump in uh, to the last social media area and see what we find here. We're going to jump into YouTube, and here we are. Uh, Don, you want to go first? Well, you know, let's look at what, what we're lacking. You know, we've got the green color up above, but design consistency is, is not there when you look at the banner. So the logo is there. You know, yeah, at least you have the font, I should say. You don't have the tree, um, but it looks like an afterthought. Um, and, and part of the reason yeah. it looks like an afterthought is you only really have one video on here. Yeah. Um, so it shows that the Resilience Project, which is a different name, so, so the channel actually has a different name, Resilience, Resiliency Project, uh, rather than the Community Resiliency Institute. Um, it looks like at one time they were thinking that this would be a good channel to use and leverage, and it's fallen off the radar. So it's somewhat similar to Twitter is maybe they did have a different name or set up a channel somewhere else, but make sure that your website links to that. Or if this is something that they thought, you know, hey, this might be a good idea, we're going to do it, but they haven't executed, removing that for now uh, and, and just making it, um, you know, it's, it's not really an asset at this point. So, so removing it from their, from their marketing mix. Yep. Yep. So I want to go about this at a couple uh, different levels here. First of all, um, I think that the Community Resilience Project, that copy should actually be this background with their texture that they use Absolutely. on the website. I think just the single tree would be up here and would be really, really cool just to be sitting in there. I also think, you know, if it's project, then, um, you know, I think you can edit this and just make it yeah. say project. Um, so although, although to just quick jump in on you, it's the Community Resiliency Institute, not project. So it's interesting that both the logo here and the name down below that you were just pointing out both say project and it's really not maybe at one time it was named project but now it's institute right so so one thing let's just say this uh, let's say across all of their social media platforms one thing they can work on is consistency right yes. branding consistency naming consistency um, I will say I'll agree with you if they're not gonna leverage YouTube shut it off if they're gonna not leverage Twitter uh, shut it off and I don't mean shut it off by like literally shut it off but don't link to it from your website don't make it a place that somebody's gonna want to click on to 
Now, what they might be able to do, you know, Don, here's the funny thing. Did you know you can have a YouTube channel and not produce one video? Did you know that that's possible? <laughs> so, Tell us more. <laughs> yeah, one of the things that they could do here is they could leverage the power of everything else that everybody else is creating. So, for instance, maybe there's certain topics that they want to speak about they could create a playlist for each one of those. So let's go back to you know the Facebook. It was educational. It was just those different topics. If they made a playlist for each of those topics, and when they were surfing the internet, they found other YouTube videos or TED Talks or Bold Talks that yes. spoke on those um, those things, they could add them to that playlist. So literally, they could have six, seven, however many playlists with two, three to 10 videos from other producers. And now they've actually got like what could be a very useful YouTube channel for their community. Because if I want to know about drug addiction and there's a drug addiction playlist on this community resiliency project, YouTube, mm -hmm. bam, I'm there, right? I needed help right now about, you know, something bad in my life. I click on their YouTube and now I'm watching about a video that tells me that if I change the way I stand for 15 minutes a day, how uh, mentally it changed, changes my focus or whatever, I'm totally pulling this out of thin air. <laughs> but you guys get my point. You, you could uh, curate the content for a very powerful YouTube channel. And that's, that's, I, that's awesome sauce in, in my opinion. I mean that, that would be a huge value because if you look at the Facebook page, that's what they're doing is they're aggregating content and I and one of the things that anybody who's interested in thought leadership needs to think about is part of the problem people face today is there's too much that they have to go through in their life they have too much information and they look to people to say you help me make sense of this what should I look at so think of you know somebody who's a real estate agent uh, you know and why do you turn to them well because they've learned a lot about a particular market and the ins and outs of buying and selling in that particular market and so they they sift through all of this stuff and they can say to you hey George I know you're looking for this type of house here are the houses I know that exist you don't have to spend a lot of time looking yourself I'll take care of it by the same token that that applies to a lot of areas and in this case I love 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 your idea because they already have that on Facebook where they're linking to a lot of videos to begin with so why not create those on YouTube and then have those under your resource sections, you know, our, our playlists on on uh, YouTube, and wow, you know, that would be tremendously valuable. Yep, I totally agree with you. So here's the deal: we're going to give them four action items that they should do uh, once uh, we give them this video, and they can watch it. Um, I'll go ahead and give the first two. You give the second two, and then why don't you go ahead and close out uh, this episode of Freebie Friday after that? So. My my first uh, two action items for them would be this. One, I would make sure that the Resiliency Matters uh, video plays on the home page, that I don't have to go anywhere uh, else but right there. That's one. Um, two, I would change the slider out for a static uh, image and copy that Google can read and preferably that uh, copy would be the you statement of what you do for your community and the people uh, that make that community up. Absolutely, and and with that, two two that I will add will be, um, you know, with that you statement is make that consistent across any social media channels you're going to use. So if you're going to turn off Twitter for now, uh, make sure that the you statement along with the design is consistent on Facebook. And if you're going to use YouTube in the way that we suggested, uh, that that is done. And I would say a, a huge opportunity is to provide those YouTube channels. It's not much work at all. You're already providing that content when you're sharing it on your Facebook page. So create some playlists and start sharing those videos as a part of the resource. Uh, elements and the last thing I'm actually going to add a bonus here. It's a bonus, even though it's the first one. They get a bonus. Is change that donate now to get help now. So let people know that you're there serving people in crisis. So I'm glad you did that because I want to give them a bonus one as well, and then you can close out uh, this week's <laughs> episode. So here's the deal: community resilience. Um, it already links to the homepage. So 
if you're trying to make it not any more confusing along all the other pages that people uh, go to, this home button could go away because it's just not needed. Best practices, user experience, everybody knows to click on your logo. So, bam, two bonuses on the first Ooh. episode of Freebie Friday. <laughs> There you go. And that's one of the things with this Freebie Friday that we're all about. You know, we, we, we're on a mission to help businesses and organizations communicate better with the people they help and they serve to become more profitable, to make a bigger difference. Uh, so if you have a site that you want to submit for review, me and Mr. Thomas are here to help. So you can submit those to us. And, uh, and again, we're, we're here to share our passion and drive to give you quick, actionable tips to make your online marketing a better, more powerful asset for all you do. Hey, uh, Don, if they want to reach out to us and have, uh, have us do one of these on the next Freebie Friday uh, or one coming up, uh, where, where do they reach out to you? I know for me, they can just hit me up on Twitter. They can hashtag Freebie Friday. Uh, yep. So it's at George B. Thomas. Uh, you know, put the URL in and hashtag uh, Freebie Friday. Uh, for you, where do you want to send them? Say, mine is the number three, three rhino media.com. That's the name of my business. So just three rhino media, same thing. Hit me up on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook as well if you prefer that as a platform. And just let us know. Uh, reaching out again using that hashtag, that freebie Friday. We're going to be collecting different businesses and organizations. So if you have one or you know somebody uh, that you work with, uh, that you think could could benefit from that, just hashtag it, and George and I'll add it to the queue, and uh, we'll pick the best candidates to receive our advice. All right, folks, this has been episode one of Freebie Friday. If you have any questions about anything we've talked about during this episode, make sure you hit us up. Also, make sure you start looking out every Friday for new episodes. And hey, help us make the internet a more beautiful place.